Hi, it's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Breeders in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year. Well, it's a Monday meeting and it's on to race number six. Uh, I say it's a Monday meeting because I've been actually surprised that on Mondays, uh, the poly track, you get fair pools. They're not out at the weekend, we know that, but you get fair pools and it's all about trying to get uh, the exotics with the minimum spend. We're trying our best today because Ryle's jotting down the pick six numbers and he tells me off air that after races three, four, and five, we're sitting on 90 rand. So it's it's fair. The cost is fair thus far. Race number six over 1,400 meters. Merit rated 70 handicap. The first thing, uh, we have to go short now, Ryle. We've got three races to go. The perm is scoring 90 rand. It can get very costly if you start multiplying itself out. And it doesn't get easier. Now, this race is a D division plus. I'm just going to say that I like a horse as a roving banker here in Stanley, so that's going to be my choice in the pick six. The balance I'm going to leave to you, young man, because uh, it's eight runners that go to post and it looks like a difficult race, but you think the winner could come from Lorenzo Karim? Yes, I think Lorenzo uh, holds a strong hand here with numbers four, which is Quizmaster, number seven, Gunsmoke. Now, Gunsmoke, that's going to be, I'm going to take a chance and bank him in the PA because He's taken on a lot stronger in his last four starts than what he does meet in this lineup. Beaten beyond fateful day, a run to the likes of Prince of Taranto. I think we'll see him in the winner's box because uh, he wasn't beaten far. He's in three lengths and that was on KZN and Breeders' Day, over 1,600 metres. So a run like that, I think he'll, go, he'll, he'll probably win a race of this calibre. One and a half kgs off the back. He's on a mark of 72. Beaten last time out behind uh, Don Carrari. Fast Love was in that race as well along with the Justin Snate runner who ran third. And uh, Gunsmoke, he wasn't beaten far, beaten 3.3 length. So he's a horse that I think could certainly run a really good race in this lineup. And he's going to be a pair banker for me. 1,400 meters, no issue at all. He has placed over the distance. And I think if Gabriel Peterson just gives him a confident ride, I think Gunsmoke will go extremely close. And then number four, Quizmaster. He's a horse that was beaten behind the Bayou last time out, not beaten far. And uh, I'm sure Gabriel Peterson would have been given the choice between numbers four, Quizmaster, and number seven, Gunsmoke. Quizmaster, but uh, he's a horse that has to be respected. He won that maiden beating, beating Captain Catman, and he hasn't been beaten far since behind Q-Wing. He took on Stronger, and then uh, Putin's Promise over 1,200, not beaten far there as well. So one, two, include... So, um, four, seven for me, those are going to be the two horses that I include. And then, these you mentioned, number one, Stanley. Which other runner would you include? No, that's it. I, I, I'm going to leave it to you because um, I had a similar thought process. The horse that will always keep you interested is, is Leslie's path of fame. I mean, he's going to win again. Um, a horse that's had hard luck stories. He's threatening. His last start for me ugh, just puts me off. But, uh, yeah, he's a horse that, you know, would move with Sean Veal up. On him, Sean has won twice on him before, hasn't ridden him of late. So maybe Frank made the call. Sometimes, you know, you find these jockeys are riding the horses. They're riding them well, but they just can't put their head in front. And then you look at a, a jockey and say, which horse, which, which was a jockey that last won on him, who has some success on him. So I think that appointment of Sean Veal could be the key. Yeah. So let's go for horses then. We, we, could, go, we could go for horses. Let's go for, I mean, it'll be... If six has to win, how many times have we gone for this horse Way in the past? Many times. So we can't leave him out. Yes. Okay, we're going to go. Okay, numerical order, race number six for that pick six. Ryle's jotting down those numbers. It's going to be one, four, six, and seven. But before we close, you're looking for two roving bankers. Ryle, your roving banker is going to be number seven. Yes. And mine's going to be number one. I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money. Two seconds later, it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. <laughs> <laughs>